it's Anella here and welcome to Psyche Truth. So today I have a beautiful practice for you that's going to be focusing a lot on this mid section. So it's going to be improving your digestive system. You're going to move in things around a little bit. Before we begin this flow, guys, I'm super excited to let you know we just started a new YouTube channel that it's dedicated to all yoga videos so all my videos are gonna be on that channel so if you guys want to check it out the link will be below this video all right now we're gonna begin our practice so from here you can sit in a nice comfortable lotus posture keeping your spine nice and long heart is lifted and then you want to make sure those shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears so if you are kind of holding on to the tension here try to let it go let it go right so we're going to practice that a little bit so go ahead i invite you to close your eyes here take a deep breath through your nose and gently you're going to exhale through your mouth we're going to take about five to six breaths here so let's begin take an inhale exhale so the breath here is just to connect the body and the mind and this present moment all together inhale deep exhale inhale deep exhale maybe gently smile and each time as you exhale try to relax your shoulders away from your ears inhale deep gently exhale Inhale all the way into your belly here, and then you're going to pause for a second. Just really feel your own breath here. Inhale. And gently exhale through your mouth. Beautiful. Rising both hands all the way up above your head. Shoulders are relaxed down. Take a deep breath through your nose. You can open your eyes or you can keep your eyes closed as we move into that seated spinal twist here and move into your right side here. Just really try to twist as much as you can here, looking over your right shoulder. You can pretend to look in over your right shoulder if you're keeping your eyes closed here and then take a deep breath in. Exhale. Coming back to center, both hands all the way up. I am keeping my eyes closed here, guys, with you. So again, twist to your left, relaxing your shoulders down. Deep inhale. And then gently coming back to center, both hands all the way up. You can open your eyes, maybe smile a little bit, and gently come into that seated fold here. As you come forward down, have your head lasting to drop down and relax your belly here. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And gently walk back to center. Again, both hands all the way up. Exhale, twist to your right. Again, deep inhale here. And just bringing that breath awareness here as you move through this flow. And gently coming back to the center, both hands up and twist to your left here. And just being patient with yourself in this practice here. And gently coming back to center. One more time, we're gonna come into that seated fold. Dropping your head, the last thing down. Relax your belly. Take a deep breath. Beautiful. Coming back to center. Again, rising both hands all the way up. 
and go ahead and move into that seated uh, side stretch here so we are really opening this area right here you open in the spine area on each side here so you're stretching and releasing tension and getting rid of the things that don't serve purpose here in this area right so just bringing that blood flow in that area itself it's gonna really help you move things around in your belly and gently coming back to center and we're gonna switch to your other side taking a nice deep inhale here and really try to keep your sitting bones down on your mat here what I mean by sitting bones you're behind keep it grounded on your mat here taking a nice deep breath as you're keeping your body nice and long and gently coming back to center both hands up and gently bringing your palms together bring it to your heart take a deep breath all the way into your belly exhale beautiful now we're gonna go ahead and open the legs you're gonna keep your knees bent we're gonna still stay in the seated posture here just like this you're gonna rise both hands all the way up and then gently moving into that seated twist again here looking over that right shoulder and gently coming back to the center and let's go ahead and switch to your left again same thing here what we are doing we are really just building the mobility in the spine in your lower back as we are doing that we are moving everything in our core section here so you are strengthening here and bringing the mobility and moving things around so creating more space and don't get surprised if you have to go to the bathroom after this practice gently coming back to the center both arms up and placing them back down take a deep breath here all the way into your belly hold it for a second and exhale beautiful rising both hands up gently twist to your right one more time here and coming back up and move to your left here and gently coming back up beautiful placing your hands down and then from here we're gonna go ahead and move all fours here so we're gonna be doing a lots of twists here guys so be patient with yourself I promise you you're gonna love this practice it's really really good way to move things around in that midsection and really help to strengthen that area and uh, get it prepared for your next uh... all right from here Go ahead, take a deep breath in all fours and tuck in your tailbone in. Tuck in your stomach in, tuck in your chin in. Hold and gently exhale. Push your shoulders back, nice long neck here. And let's do one more time, cat here. Gently exhale. Cow. Beautiful. Go ahead and move into your child's pose here. Take one deep breath. Gently exhale. Beautiful. Coming back up. Then from here, you're going to lift that left arm all the way up just like that hold it for a second and gently you're gonna bring it all the way through to your right arm just like that so again we are twisting the midsection here taking a nice deep breath exhale and gently coming back to center rising left arm all the way up beautiful and gently placing it back down inhale deep rising right arm up exhale bringing it all the way through your left arm again here guys go in your own pace if you beginner take your time listen to your body and find what works the best for you and stay there breathe be consistent be patient with yourself be gentle with yourself 
one more time deep breath here beautiful gently coming back up moving that right arm all the way up and place it back down take one more time child's pose here take a deep breath exhale beautiful coming all fours now from here you're gonna tuck your toes in and we're gonna move into that downward facing dog here gently lifting your hips towards the ceiling here relaxing your head down now you want to really push into the ground here push into your mat here as you're keeping your spine nice and long and then you're going to relax your head down and really try to feel the weight of your head here as you say no as you say yes keeping a nice bent knees in bented knees here and then gently straighten your legs. Downward dog. Beautiful. Now from here, you're gonna rise your right leg as high as you can. Now if it's here, stay right there. If you can, go a little bit higher and then bend your knees and then you're gonna twist from your waist down. Right here. So right here, again, we are a little bit twisting and stretching. And just working that midsection here, same time as you build in the strength in your upper body. So entire body is being engaged here. And gently bring it back down. Beautiful. And take a nice deep breath one more time here, lifting your left leg. Again, going if it feels right here for you, and then just twist it just like that. Do so if you can go a little bit higher and then twist just like that, opening your lower body here, stretching that hip flexor, your psoas, as well as you really working that midsection here. Woo! I am sweating already. Gently placing it back down again. Make sure you breathe, guys, here. Beautiful. Now look at your hands and gently start walking towards front of your hands here. And you're going to stay here in a forward fold just like this. Relax your arms, relax your head down. If you need to bend your knees just like this, but allow your whole entire spine to just relax here. Take a deep breath. Beautiful. Now from here, you're going to lift your right leg and then place it over your left. You see that? And then from here, gently lifting your right arm up. Now, if you only can go right here, stay right there. If you can go a little bit further and look towards the ceiling here in this twist, take one deep breath and gently exhale it back down. Beautiful. Now let's bring it back and switch legs here. Here it goes, just like that, nice and gently. And then taking a deep breath, lifting your left arm up. Again, if it feels comfortable for you to look directly down as you're keeping that left arm up, stay right there. If it feels a little more comfortable or you can go a little bit past your comfort zone, look towards the ceiling here. forward fold all right we're gonna gently move all the way up into a nice tall beautiful mountain imagine your most beautiful mountain standing nice and tall and strong and really rooted into the mother earth here relax let go take a deep breath into your belly here and gently relaxing your arms down now from here, you're going to gently place all your weight to your left side. As you lift your right leg, you can stay right here and gently twist towards your right, just like that. Now this is going to be challenging a little bit because you are not only twisting here, but you're standing also on one leg. So keeping that core nice and strong and tight and engaged here as you breathe. 
and really try to twist as deep as you can here going into your spine going into your belly here release let go and gently coming back to center beautiful and let's go ahead place everything to our right side and then move on to your left side twist here just like that beautiful now these moves guys might be a little bit slower pace but if you're doing it right like i am i am really sweating already just bringing that breath awareness and being present in what you are doing and being connected with your body it's going to really make your make this flow that much more effective so allow yourself have no judgment and just be here now breathe be consistent and just have fun with me smile a little bit one more deep breath here Ooh. if it's hard for you to hold here in a balancing posture stay like that and then twist right just like that there's always a way and gently relax coming back to center relax your arms down beautiful one more deep breath rise your both hands up and gently let's move into that chair twist now in your chair posture make sure you don't go past those toes place your palms together bring it to your heart and we're gonna move into that chair twist here again place your elbow right next to your knees here keep your knees together nice and tight as you twist gently towards your left side looking towards the um, ceiling here take a nice deep breath gently and come back to center switch sides same thing here take a nice deep breath exhale coming back to center forward fold beautiful we're gonna walk into a high plank here beautiful place your knees down and gently move into that child's pose here take one deep breath here through your nose exhale beautiful gently we're gonna walk and we're gonna lay all the way down on our mat here all right so now we're gonna lay down and then we're gonna move into one of my favorite postures to do before i come out of the bed which is lying down spinal twist all right now this one is really good to energize your spine here and move things around your belly really good way to just release tension there and feel good take a deep breath here also good way to release tension from your lower back in this posture too so breathe let go be consistent with your practice if you truly want to see the difference in your body ah, i could stay here for a long time i love this posture beautiful gently walk back to center and we're gonna go ahead and move to your right side same thing Woo! did you hear that crack i did that felt really good again sometimes i like to go ahead and grab with my opposite arm and then push down on my knee so it helps me deepen the stretch here so again take a nice deep breath exhale You can stay here as long as you like, my friends. Whatever works the best for you. Listen to you. Amazing. Gently coming back to center. Then one more time, we're going to go ahead, bend our knees and bring your knees to your chest here, giving yourself a really nice hug. Maybe even if you can, bringing your forehead to your knees, maybe grabbing your toes, just like this and making your body into the tiniest little ball, just like that, maybe rock side to side, giving your lower back a little 
massage and just really being proud of yourself for completing this practice with me and the fact that you did this practice with me you're already one step closer to your journey whatever that is in your practice of yoga or feeling good in your own body feeling good in your own skin mm, take a deep breath one more time here going to stay here, guys. <laughs> but um, I'm going to come back up here. Beautiful, beautiful practice. Um, oof, I feel so good. My spine is like nice and like feels like really mobile here. It feels really good. My belly feels nice and it's really sticky and kind of wet, but that's a good sign, even though it's a nice and slow pace. But when you really allow yourself to connect and really be connected with the breath and what you are doing, you bring the attention to the area and um, it's amazing the results you will get on the end. Just when you allow yourself to be consistent and being in this present moment, whatever that is that you are doing, you know? So, things like that. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and doing this video with me. Um, make sure to favor this video. If you want to see the best results in your practice, make sure you stay consistent with it and uh, you will get there, I promise. Again, subscribe to Psyche Truth, subscribe to our new channel because there will be all yoga videos on there. Again, I wanted to mention it for you guys. It will be below this video. Um, so until next time, namaste. Mm.